Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing an unboxing. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, today I'll be sharing a new planner. So I just picked this up at Target and I really wanted to try a different type of planner for work. So as you all know right now I use my Louis Vuitton medium ring or MM agenda. It's a personal size planner. It's a ring planner and I I don't know I like I love the inserts and I love the functionality however I just want a planner that I can like flip open and um like open and like work like this like exactly like this and so I've been trying to use my like in conjunction with my medium ring I've been trying to use my um Erin Condren I really and put like all of my plans in there but I just want one planner for work to call it a day and I didn't want to move to discs I just I don't know I, I couldn't get into it like I liked my notebooks when I made like the disc notebooks and so I've always get asked about like um more affordable planners that I recommend or that I like and I always recommend the day designer because way before I started my Instagram and this YouTube channel I used to always get my planners at Victoria's Secret Pink, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't think they do it anymore. Um, but I always got like my academic planners from there and they had it every like fall semester. They only had a few. Uh, I would go like right on launch day and get my um, academic planner. It was a horizontal planner. Um, so I would get that for school and then for work, once I started needing a work planner, I would go to Target and I would actually get the day designer. And so I used this for a few years before I moved and found Erin Condren and then my ring system. So um, these are great planners. They hold up very well. I used, to, again, I used to always use it. Um, they have different options. So of course right now they have the 2023. So it's kind of hard to find one that started in July, but they do have some academic year ones, um, like more towards like the back to school section if they still have it, if not like in the actual planner aisle. Um, this was $25 at Target and I was looking through a few and I'll add clips here if I can remember on that I was looking for, but this is, I think what I used to use. Um, at one point because they have different types but this is exactly what I needed for work and so um, as a little backstory I just wanted to share that with you guys uh, but yeah I, I've loved day designer um, I might <laughs> remove the cover page I don't know um, I wish they had a different design I didn't want the stripe but this is literally the exact planner I had I used to have like a hardcover one though like I always had the hardcovers and the hardcover ones they didn't have this type of planner and I needed this type of planner so I do wish that they would have had that but let's do a little flip and I will share this with, with you guys so first page you have your little overview it's polka dots you get a ruler which is nice it's on a coil And then you have some stickers in here with just meeting stickers, uh, exercise birthday, some icons. They're pretty functional. You have a pocket up front so you can place papers in here. Um, I don't really know the size of this planner. What is this? This is a... Um, my ruler is like going out. It's a little over eight inches by a little over, I'm gonna say nine and a half inches. So pretty decently sized, less than, or smaller than a letter, a little bit bigger than an Erin Condren planner. Let me actually grab my hourly for reference. So just slightly larger, All right? And these are, Erin Condren planners are seven by nine, so for comparison. Uh, let's see, we have the pocket, you have a personal information page, and then you have a calendar view, a little information about the um, day designer planner, and then you have some goal pages in here. I'm probably not gonna use these. Again, I'm using this for work, so don't really need it. 
Um, but you can put morning routines, evening routines, and there's just a lot of different planning elements in here. All right, and then we get into the month. So they included May in case you need it. I don't need May or June. I need July. So here's the first full month. And so, and I actually don't even need July now that I think about it, but it's fine. Um, I think I might go back and add a few like dates on the calendar. Um, but here's the calendar view. So you have Sunday through Saturday. You have a notes and to do section here, your previous month and your current month. And then what I love about these is that the months are lined. That's one of the things that I love is when there's a line month. So you don't need stickers. Like I can just write in what's going on because with my work planners, I don't keep stickers a lot. And so this is probably going to be a pen only planner. I probably won't even share this one a lot because it's going to have sensitive information for work, but I might do like updates and share a few things with you guys. Um, but then you go into your weeks. So Monday through Friday have a different page than the weekend. So here is what a full day looks like. And this is the main reason why I wanted this planner. So you have some space up top. So if you want to decorate, add a quote, whatever you need. But it's this functionality. So you have today's schedule. And so it goes from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And you have half hours, and it actually writes out the half hours. So you have 6, 6.30, 7, 7.30, and so on. If you've been watching my planner videos, you know I need a half hour because we have a lot of meetings on the half hour. And I really love how there's enough space for me to write out all of my meetings in here. And I'm just really looking forward to using this because it just break, it'll break down my day perfectly. Um, moving on to the second column, you have today's top three, so you can do your priorities. There's a to-do section for the day and a note section. There's also a tonight and gratitude planner, which is great if you're using this for your personal planner. But for work, I'll probably use these two for different things. Um, but I just love that I have an actual to-do list and then I also have a note section so I don't need a notebook. I can just write in any notes because it'll be notes for the day. And so... I love this structure and this functionality and when I've used this in the past, it always worked out really well and I always had enough space for everything that I need. And so that's what Mondays through Fridays looks, lo looks like. And then on the weekends, I don't work on the weekends. Um, they said that there will be rare occurrences and I haven't yet worked on a weekend so I'll probably not use this page, I might recycle it for something else. But you still get a list if you do need to do something on the weekend or again if you're using this for personal use. So um, up here it says take a time, take a time out, fun things to do. And then you have Saturday and Sunday and then instead of going by the half hour, it goes by the full hour so you get that full day. So it still goes from 6 to 8, you just don't have the half hour increments. which. Typically on weekends, I feel like you don't really need it. Um, I feel like once we do start traveling for work, I'll probably use the weekends to write in like travel notes and different things like that. Um, but what I really like is that on the weekend pages, you also have a section for next week and don't forget, and I'll probably use those two um, on Fridays to like help prepare for the following week. Um, but then you also have a little weekly gratitude section and then on every page you have a different quote. And so, this planner is just broken down very, very well. Here's what Monday through Tuesday looks like. You have space for everything. You can add like sticky notes up here. I think that's what I've done in the past. I honestly can't remember. Um, but you just, you have all this room. You can lay it flat, which is again, what I have been looking for. And you can just plan out your day and everything that you need to do, which I um, have been wanting. So I'm excited to try this out and use this for work. Let me look to the back to see what else is in the back. Uh, again, $25 at Target. I'll have it linked below. If I can link it, I should be able to. Um, but it's just in the planner section and it's the Day Designer brand. You have some note pages on the back, which I might just use to jot down important information. You get two. Or actually you get three note pages and then a list of holidays for 2022 and 2023. Again, this is an academic year, so it goes from July to June. So we are in September. 
And again, I'll probably backdate a little bit once I use this, but I'm really looking forward to um, using this for work. And if y'all want to see maybe photos in here, maybe when there's not sensitive information, I'll share some photos. But I'm really looking forward to using this and I think it's going to be a great work planner. I'm just going to keep this on my desk and uh, use it uh, when I'm working. So yeah, other than that, that is the Day Designer Planner. And that is going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.